What's up, guys? Welcome back to Heist Studio. And uh, this time, I've actually wisened up, and uh, we're not using my SM7, which is my normal microphone for doing voiceovers and dubs and things and stuff and words, um, because I have to be back here with my guitar, uh, which means that it's uh, a little challenging uh, to uh, <laughs> record with an SM7 right up close, but I mean, I can still get up close to this microphone. But uh, using a, a condenser mic, uh, so that we could do that. But today, uh, it was a chat and either engine crew or ESD train crew, I can't remember which. Um, and I believe it was Toyota was asking about High Ball Through the Yard, which uh, is a fun song. And <laughs> it's going to be behind the music. There's not much to say behind it, though, because it's just like, um, I, I just kind of muddied around and came up with the tune, you know? Um, <laughs> A lot of the Railroads Online soundtrack stuff was me learning open tunings. Um, I had been playing around on Dobros and whatnot. Uh, my buddy Norm, who we did the Snake Farm cover for, has a cool Dobro that's like a true Dobro that's got the strings super high off the neck. Um, and it's a res resonator guitar, a resophonic guitar like this. Um, and I played it, and I was like, oh man, that, that's a vibe. And then I started doing the soundtrack, and it's like, okay, I gotta get one of those when I was back in Seattle. So I found this one and bought it. It's an Epiphone Dobro, brand Dobro, but it's uh, they're owned by Epiphone, so it's not really whatever. But anyway, um, the, it sounds like somebody heard it. It just has this like sad kind of... Awesome sounding guitar. Um, and so kind of what goes with the, the dobro is, is slide. So slide guitar stuff. So etc. Uh, <laughs> as it were. Um, and so with slide kind of comes um, open tunings because if you're playing with a bar, you can't really fret two things at once. I mean, you kind of can. And really good slide players can, but um, you end up playing the guitar open. So when I strum the guitar, it just plays a chord. And in, in this case, this is um, vaguely open D. Um, <laughs> like everything that I recorded, it was a uh, quick, dirty, it doesn't need to be exactly in tune. Who cares? I need to aim this down a smidge. Bear with me here. Um, <laughs> I'll just quick and dirty, close enough in tune's fine, so, um, here you go, tune to this. So, vaguely D, A, D, uh, F sharp, A, D. Anyway, um, so, it's that tuning, uh, which is fun, and, and a couple of the songs that I've done for the soundtrack are in that tuning. But this one was literally just messing around with it and kind of learning the positions, and then the, a song happened where I was trying to figure out, okay, well, it's open. It's like messing around with those notes and being like, that one doesn't really work. That one works pretty well. Oh, hey, look, there's a piece, you know, just messing around kind of in the cowboy chord land and seeing okay well these notes kind of work and so i ended up coming around with the and it's like oh okay well there's a call and response and that's a that's a fun melody and so i had that little riff and i was just working on playing it fast Okay, there's one part and kind of it ran into the and it's like all right well that's neat that's fun that works uh, there's there's most of a song and I was trying to sit there and go like well how do I how do I intro this I'm like I don't know it's just kind of cool riffs and I want it to be a little bit quicker and and kind of just a solo a guitar piece dobro piece and I was sitting around and that's kind of got some anticipation to it when you sit there and do that. And 
And it's like, well, what can we do? Well, there's a major third there. And we can walk up the chord. And then we can just go for the big slide chord. Okay, there's an intro, so. And that's like 99% of the song. The uh, the only other things are uh, there's a little interstitial piece in the middle and, and this kind of other thing. Um, I suppose we should play it a little slower and a little bit more clearly and up close where you can see it because uh, Toyota was asking how to play it. So uh, I guess I can help out with that. So uh, real slow, the main riff here is... Something like that. And then your intro is the... You're grabbing both the open string note and then the same note on the fifth fret. If you don't have a slide, you can just bar the 12th fret when you get up there. But the whole point is to grab more and more strings as you're going. So you're just two strings here. And then you add this note, but then you also grab the note below. Because that's the octave. And then another one. So you've got the whole guitar at the end there. So it kind of builds the anticipation. And then the... kind of response to that whole thing is the um, and then kind of in the middle there, there's kind of a transition piece that's like the So that's all kind of third, fifth fret. And then it goes back to the main riff. And then at the end, um, the kind of build is... back into the slide stuff. And that's that's basically everything you really need to know to kind of nail the song and put it all together. So uh, as is tradition, we'll, we'll play it in here and see if I can actually remember how to play the whole thing in, in one, uh, <laughs> one shot here. Uh, Lord knows it's been probably two years since I recorded it. So, and it was definitely one of the ones that was like nailed it in one take, kind of walked away and forgot how to play it. Uh, so we'll see if I get all the intricacies just right, but uh, here we go.
<laughs> All right. M more, more or less remembered it. <laughs> and uh, amid, of course, I remembered midway through that uh, the, the whole name of the song, Highball Through the Yard, is a misquote of Emperor of the North. I figured we ought to note that. Um, when, when Shaq said, I ain't doing yard speed, I'm gonna highball. And then all the all the yard hands go, he's gonna highball, he's gonna highball in the yard. And it's highball in the yard, not highball through the yard. I had the quote wrong, but I hadn't watched the movie in a couple years when I wrote the song. So there you go. <laughs> it's a misquote. But uh, yeah, that's a... Uh, and, and how did it get the name? I don't know. It seemed like it was vaguely fast. I was I I finished playing the take, hit the render button, and it goes. You need to name this file, and I go. Crap. <laughs> what what would be a good name? I don't know. It sounds like it kind of goes fast. It picks up. It has a bit of an intro, some suspense. Maybe Shaq's gonna highball in the yard. Thanks for watching, everybody.